Permit required spaces are those that have one or more of the following characteristics. It contains or has a potential to contain a hazardous atmosphere. It contains a material that has the potential for engulfing an entrant. It has an internal configuration that could trap an entrant by inwardly converging walls or by a floor that slopes downward or tapers to a smaller cross section. Or it contains any other recognized serious safety or health hazard. Non-permit procedure entries are those that have physical or mechanical hazards such as falls from heights or trench cave-ins that must be eliminated before entry and no real or potential atmospheric hazards. These are rare and usually apply to smaller trenches or large excavations. Alternative entries are when there are no physical or mechanical hazards and the only hazard is a real or potential atmospheric hazard that can be controlled with continuous mechanical ventilation. The majority of a water utility's confined space entries fit into this category. Asphyxiation is the leading cause of death in confined spaces. But there are other hazards associated with confined spaces including mechanical hazards, communication problems, entry and exit, and physical hazards, as well as any task and work being performed inside the space. Mechanical hazards include the activation of electrical or mechanical equipment in the confined space which could cause injury, the buildup of static charge in the presence of flammable vapors of gases is also a concern. Communication problems refers to the inability of the worker inside to maintain contact with an attendant stationed outside. If an emergency occurs and the person inside the confined space is not able to request help, an injury can become a fatality. Attendants are only required for permit required spaces, although they are an option for other entries. A trained attendant at the entry visually monitors workers or maintains communication with them with a radio or cell phone. The attendant alerts the occupants to evacuate when necessary and is also responsible to call for rescue personnel if they are not trained in rescue retrieval. Anthony, you okay? Entry and exit hazards refers to the difficulty faced in getting a worker out of the confined space during an emergency. Factors include access to the entrance, the number and size of openings, barriers in the space, ladder and hatchway access, and the time required to rescue injured workers. Physical hazards include falls from height, the heat and cold of the confined space, slippery surfaces, noise vibration, radiation, and the combination of these factors leading to fatigue of the workers inside a confined space. Each situation must be measured against those criteria to determine if it is a permit required confined space. 